an Xbox wireless headset. Now, I hadn't been planning on doing a repair video on this, but because um, this is mine and I was just using it today, and I went to turn the uh, the gaming volume up a little bit, and that just fell off. That was a bit. How has that happened? Because it hasn't been dropped. It hasn't had a, a rough uh, handling or anything. And literally that just fell off. So I did a quick search on the internet and it seems to be a little bit of a common problem with these. So we'll just zoom down on here. And what it looks like... It looks like um, these bits of plastic around here just break off and that's what holds it into the um, into this piece here so it just looks like there's just very thin bits of plastic holding this side bit on now there's a groove in here which as you can see it uh, it starts like closer to the center then gradually gets wider away further away from the center and what that does that's what uh, the volume slider here slides and so when you turn the uh, the knob it makes this volume slider slide further up like that if you turn it the other way it makes it slide further down that's how it adjusts the volume so we need to figure out some way of attaching this part back onto there as you can see it's just wobbling around in there so I'm going to see if we can take it apart and see if we can repair it. I'll just uh, zoom back out a bit. Alright, I think I'm going to start by removing the ear cup thing here. So we'll just get that out of the way. And it looks like we've got six small Phillips screws around the outside. So I'll get a Phillips screwdriver and we'll just start removing those. So that's the six screws out of the way. Let's see what happens when we take this off then. Oh, what do we have under here? So that's the speaker, obviously. And it looks like we've got another four screws under there. Looks like we've got a short wire there. Yeah, that doesn't look very good. That looks awkward to get through. It looks like the two wires going to the speaker are glued in place with not much leeway. Yeah, I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see. So we haven't got much play on those wires there to get this bit out of the way and it looks like it's glued. Actually it's glued there so I might see if I can get this uh, glue off and see if we can feed this wire back through a bit. I'm going to try IP on there, see if that helps. Oh, let's turn it on. So we'll just turn it back off. Right. So it looks like we've got another four screws under there holding the board in. Mm, just notice this bit's kind of sprung. Just managed to turn it on again. Let's see if we can tease this board out of it. Mm. 
the part that looks like it's broke looks like this part here. So let's see if I can get that bit out and we'll have a look at it. Right. Yep, so that looks like the bit there where we've got a screw on this side. And that looks like the bit that's broken. Which appears to be about three separate pieces. So how are we going to repair this then? Um, well, I wonder... If I had a small bolt that would put through here, I mean, yes, there'd be something sticking out on the outside. But I wonder if I drilled a hole through there, had a small bolt through, and then we will put a nut on the outside, maybe. I think that would work. And that's uh, all I can really think, because, like I say, you're not going to end up gluing those little bits of plastic back on. I mean, they're just tiny little pieces. Which, the size of the knob here, I mean, even if you turn the volume knob a bit too far, it's, uh, I mean, that might have happened on a couple of occasions, and I think that's obviously why they snap off. Yeah, not a great design. I mean, even if it had been solid plastic, it would have been a lot better. And also, you've got to take into account where the screw goes through it as well, it's going to be a weak point. So yeah, not a great design. Right, I'll see if I can find a small nut and bolt or something and then we'll take it from there. So I'm back with some supplies. And I've just drilled a hole straight through this bit here. So what I've got, I've got a little nut and bolt here. So I'm going to put that through there. It should tighten up quite nice with a... A screwdriver. I've just drilled this hole slightly bigger as well, just the one in there. And what I've got, I've got a nut that kind of just fits into the uh, space where the original bits of plastic went. If I can give it on the end of the bolt here. That should tighten up nicely like that. And hopefully that'll be long enough to go through this part. And it appears that it might not be. I might need a slightly longer bolt. Right, back with a slightly longer one. Let's see how this works. And this one's a flathead. Right, see what that's like, then will that go through? Yes, I right, see so there's going to be a little bit sticking out, but I right, see so I'm not that bothered as long as it works. Let's right, see where this bit goes in then. Just that having a little notch, I presume it's got a bit of a stop on it or something. Yeah, so it's a bit awkward to work on this. I can't actually see a stop. I even feel anything in here. So I don't know what that little point was for on there. Surely you would think there'd be some kind of notch or something for that to sort of click into, but I can't see anything. So that's another, that's a bit odd. Right, let's see if we can get this bit on. At least I can do this without putting it all back together first. I 
try and get this lined up with the uh, volume knob. I think that feels about it. And I'll see if I can find some pliers or something just to uh, tighten it up. Yeah, I think that's it. from the nuts the nuts working itself loose so I might have to put a bit of a uh, thread sealant on it oh I could put another nut on the end possibly seems to be working. Now we're trying to get the board and that plug in. Now it looks like the button's rotated a bit and there's a little bit of plastic it's got to slot into. That's why it wasn't going in. I think that's it. Right, I've just found the other screw that uh, went missing. Easiest thing to work on this. Now I've got this on upside down or something. It doesn't appear to be, but why is that hole not lining up? Hopefully just this bit to go back on now. Now which way did this go? Now was it that way? Seem to fit in there better. One last screw. And then just this bit to go back on. Alright then. Functional again now. Mightn't look the prettiest, but at least it's going to work. Alright, so <laughs> a bit of an unexpected repair that one, but uh, yeah, at least it's functional again now. So, right then, if you found that useful, please give it the thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please leave it in the comments section below. And as always, have a great day. 
Thanks for watching.